to capture. He really needs to send that Vet 3 squad to kill stuff because the Vet 3 squad is the only squad in his entire army that can kill stuff at this point in the game. Is he going to... Uh, I'm sure that he's close to another one. Yes, he has enough, so he's going to pop another off-map reinforcements. Yay! I completely lost count of how many off-map reinforcements he's used. It's got to be around the 10 mark, however. And... KT, is he... No, not fully repaired, but he doesn't have a damaged engine, so it doesn't really matter if he doesn't get fully fully repaired. Is this an MG earlier? Still one lone MG emplacement. Probably if MG emplacements had kill counts, you'd see zero, because this was a colossal waste of resources, waste of manpower, waste of fuel, and he really shouldn't have done it. Just like spamming all this stuff is a waste of manpower and a waste of time on Nathan's end because he is fighting wave after wave of crap. And but at least he gets an epic King Tiger who has too many kills. I'd need what 15 hands, 10 hands to count how many kills this King Tiger has in this game and the MG excellent placement gonna suppress everything. MG gonna get a few kills. King Tiger up to 62 now and these friends 38. So Nystrom going around the side isn't going to be able to harass because of the impeccable placement of this MG. However, his King Tiger is going to take a few shots and that MG is going to be dead. Capping on the left hand side, <laughs> Lone Chaos, a last ditch effort to ninja cap some VPs and win this game. However, he hadn't been able to drain the VPs. Oh, forces are taking casualties, which is bad. There's way too much stuff on that. I can't keep track of it. And there goes the MG emplacement up here. Something is going to die again. This is about three squads, so he might actually do some damage. However, there's propaganda on him. And there is one Dren squad with multiple bars. How many bars do they have? I think they might have four bars. <laughs> A Dren squad with four Browning automatic rifles. Look at that. And that's what you get for throwing away barred right from the left, right, and center. You give your opponent's vet 3 infantry the killing power of like the entirety of your off-map reinforcement column. So now that the MG emplacement is done down here, I think he actually forgot about this accomplished Volkswagen squad. I really should cap these two points and just hasten his victory. Another forward barracks because why not? It kind of worked in the beginning. Firestorm going to go down on it and actually not do any damage to the building. Not one shell hits up. There we go. One shell hits the building. But, kind of but nothing, nothing doing any damage to that building, which is kind of funny. And this Volks, or this Grand Squad going to have to retreat. Actually dropped one of its Grand, or bars, which is too bad. Going to have to find another one. But there are plenty of low health rifle squads right for the picking with zero vacancy whatsoever ready to get slaughtered as Lone Chaos sends them into the meat grinder over and over and over again. Nice from actually probably floating a ton of resources. Oh no, never mind. Is he building anything? No, he's just been building Gren after Gren after Gren after Gren, rebuilding MGs. That's something players don't do enough. Late game building MGs. MGs are so useful. Players usually don't expect MGs after about the 20 minute mark if you manage to kill the MGs he had on the field initially. And the, re and the reason for this is vehicles counter MGs hard because or MGs can't do damage to vehicles obviously, except for the American MG that you know, gets the 30 calories. But most Vermont players just don't bother building MGs in the late game and that's a mistake because MGs are extremely cost effective. They're cheaper than a Grand Squad. When they get vet, they're deadly killers and even in Company of Heroes Online compared to retail Company of Heroes, they do so much more damage than most players are used to that you can really catch players off guard and you catch players blobbing a lot more in the late game because they, they just assume there aren't going to be MGs on the field and if you pop them with MG, run in force retreat and that might just be exactly what you need to get a unit on the field to counter what your opponent has. VPs ticking down slowly, Nystrom in control of two of them, probably going to walk over here with a Grand Squad or something or even pick up that other bar because Lone Chaos didn't pick it up because hey I'm just going to lose my squads and get new ones for an insane amount of money and then run them in and die and repeat until the game is over. So we're going to decap this forward barracks because I don't know why he would put a forward barracks over here and there aren't really any more suitable buildings. I mean there's these two but they're in the middle and it would be so easy to destroy them. 
So we probably won't see any more forward barracks from Lone, S Lone Star. I'm keep calling him Lone Star. Lone Chaos. And nice from finally remembering this accomplished Volkscreen here and capping on the right hand side. However, in the middle, like I said, NG use, especially on Samoa, this huge choke point. However, once again, Y flank. Oh man, these heroic charged rifles are getting torn up. How many kills? 20 kills on this MG. 43 on these, on this Grand Squad with three bars and Lone Chaos going to GG out of this game. Not really much he could do. Of course, not spamming. Oh, nice from saying well played. I personally disagree with that, but hey, when you spam off map reinforcements, I don't really know. I mean, a few AT guns would have gone a heck of a long way toward count countering that that King Tiger. I mean, building anything over tier one. This guy played this entire game on tier one tech, and he almost won. So, I don't know about that, but take what you will from it. That's all from me, and I will see you guys next time.